All right, guys, check this out. So today is October 11th, 2019, and I noticed I dropped in number two for this SEO coaching term that I was ranking for. When did this happen? It happened a few days ago, um, seven days ago. So let's see if Surfer can tell me how to fix this. So go to SEO coaching here, I've run a surfer analysis on it. And then check out my audit. I can see, okay, what do we got here? Missing three out of 11 common backlinks, that's not that bad. Probably tell outreach guy to go get those links. Uh, true density, there's a lot of work to be done here. Uh, before I do it, I wanna check on word count and see if something has changed in the SERP. And, uh-oh. Absolutely true, something definitely changed in the SERP. Everyone ranking is ranking with like 200 to 800 words, and I'm the weird one on page one with 2,000 words. And so I don't want to mess with these uh, like keyword density numbers until I actually tweak my word count. Also, notice down here, there's freaking five H1 elements on the page. I guess the designer took, a, took his own liberties to change a bunch of H2s to H1s or something like that, so I need to get that cleaned up. So, what we're gonna do is, let's find the page, here's the page. I need to reduce the word count, and I think probably the easiest way to do it is to take these testimonials here, convert them into images. Boom, 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 and yeah, as many as I can. There's a huge chunk of word count in all these testimonials here, and especially in the, even the slider down here too. So, gonna get that done. I'm obviously gonna clean up these H1 issue, whatever, however the heck that happened. And then I will update the page, get it crawled again. It's October 11th, and we'll see how long it takes to fix it. Hey, what's up everybody? It's been six days since I filmed the last section of the video and I was a good boy and I did all the things I said I would do. And I went into this page and reduced word count. Actually, I didn't do it myself, but had the designer just go ahead and take these textual elements before and convert them into images. So I greatly reduced the word count by taking these testimonials and just making them images. And then also finding those rampant H1s that were just being jerks on the page and converting them to the H2s. Uh, turned out they were these guys and somehow, I don't, I don't know what happened. But anyways, greatly reduced the word count. And then um, after that, once we reduced the word count, ran Surfer SEO again, and then recalculated true density numbers and did a little bit of tweaking. I, I admit that I didn't go all the way in and really get in fight tune and get green scores in all of them. Um, it's busy. I got the conference coming up, you know, just trying to just trying to survive here. So let's see how I'm looking in, in Surfer SEO now. So we'll click on SEO coaching. And we'll click on the audit for my site. And the first thing I want to take a look at and show you guys is words and paragraphs. So you see, I'm within range now. I used to be like 2,000 billion before, but now I'm like right, right in that sweet spot, looking good. And if we go down here to H1s, one H1 element, thank you very much. And if we go up here to like these true density numbers, like as I told you, I like did pretty good job here. I got mostly greens and then life happened and I just stopped and I just thought, okay, let's see how far this gets me. So. I update the content and then resubmit the URL to Google Search Console, get it recrawled again. And then we go over here to the rank tracker and hold on. And we'll see how things are looking here. SEO coaching, number one. And let's see what the graph looks like. So. This is when, when did I notice this? I noticed this on the 11th, on the 10th or something like that. And then once I submit things, it started to like shake up a little bit. Um, I was bouncing between one and two and then going up and down. And then for the last couple of days, I've been 
uh, cemented in at number one. I su suspect it's going to last. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, but I'm traveling tomorrow, so I'm not going to film this tomorrow or the day after. So we have to just hope it sticks, but I'm pretty sure it will. Anyways, it just goes to show, like, first off, Surfer's a good tool for figuring out you know, what are some blatant mistakes? What, how do I fit in with the niche? All I really worked on right here was fixing up some H1 issues, which I could have caught on my own, but I didn't. And uh, word count, and then tweak the keyword density, and I'm back at number one now.